You know that feeling when you're working on a drawing or a painting and it looks fine, everything's going all right. But then all of a sudden, you start noticing something very minor that just looks off. Maybe you notice the face is a bit off, or maybe it dawns on you that the composition isn't feeling the way that you originally envisioned. Whatever the issues may be, they start to grow in number. They start to subconsciously weigh on your opinion of the drawing you're working on. And little by little, you start to hate the art. Eventually, you just give up with trying to tweak all of these little issues that start popping up. And you just scrap it. Or at least that's what I do a lot. I get overwhelmed with all of the little details I'm noticing that aren't working. And the drawing just becomes another PSD file that sits on my computer. What I've realized is a lot of times that's the result of improper planning. And the solution to improper planning that I want to discuss in this video is starting over. Now, I hate the idea of having to start over on a painting, especially after I've spent hours on it. And a lot of times I don't. I, it's kind of like a sunk cost situation where I put all of this time into working on this painting and I don't just want to scrap it. So I try to push through anyway and ignore the details that are bugging me. But even if I do finish it, I just end up with a painting I'm not satisfied with. But what I mean by starting over is that this is what you should do instead of pushing through aimlessly trying to make a painting that's fundamentally flawed work by over rendering it. Because adding more details and rendering it further won't fix something that's already not working from the beginning. If you start over, you get a second opportunity to revisit the idea and explore it further and work out details that you didn't work out the first time. The whole idea behind starting over is really just based on the fact that you get better at something the more times you do it. So in practice, if you think the idea is worth salvaging, but the way you approached it just isn't really working well, start over. You don't have to push through in hopes that it gets better, because I know it's easy to think it will get better. But if you're seeing something fundamentally wrong with the painting, reapproach it. Now, you can avoid starting over by practicing brainstorming or doing thumbnails of whatever painting you want to work on before you work on the big painting. Practice ideation or drawing the same subject in multiple different ways as little quick sketches to kind of get the idea on paper. Because if you try to go straight from your mind to the canvas, you're more than likely going to fail. So it's best practice to practice seeing what will and what won't work. Um, this is similar to what engineers do when they prototype an idea. They don't just go with the first idea in their head of a solution and then start working on the final product right away. They test multiple different ways of approaching the same problem. And it's through that process they find out what works and what doesn't work. And we should treat our paintings the same way. So this is what you would do to prevent starting over. But sometimes starting over is inevitable. Imagine you were working on a painting for weeks on end and you poured countless hours into it. But one day you open Photoshop and you open the PSD file and to your surprise it's corrupted. Now what? You don't have any screenshots of the process or any work in progress pictures of it saved. You have nothing. It's all in your head. Now you have no choice but to start over. You could just move on and pretend that never existed. But if you think the idea is really worth salvaging, starting over can be a great way of approaching the drawing from a different angle. Not only will you get to where you left off faster, 
but you might find a new, more efficient way of uh, executing the painting. Or who knows, you might even change it entirely, but it's still based off of the original idea you had. You wouldn't have known this if you weren't forced into a situation where you had to start over. I know I spent the majority of this video talking about the application of starting over to the drawing process, but the reality is the concept of starting over is applicable to more than just a painting itself. Starting over can range from something as small as hitting undo several times to draw the perfect strand of hair to something as large as reworking a multi-piece project. If something's not working, just don't be afraid to redo it. You can even start over on something a bit less concrete, such as the study of a certain art fundamental or even a goal. You may find that your current way of studying a particular subject is inefficient or leaving gaps in your knowledge. And although you might not like the idea of having to start over relearning something or you may feel that you already know it, so why bother learning it again? Starting over from the beginning and just relearning things you thought you already knew will just reinforce your understanding of these concepts and you might even find something that you missed the first time you learned it. Really a lot of what I'm saying comes down to a mindset change if you're someone that doesn't like the idea of having to redo all of your hard work. You should really be excited to do it again. Starting over is something you should hardwire your brain to be excited about, really because it's not a negative thing. Starting over gives you another opportunity to explore a subject or approach a painting from a different angle and at the end of the day, your skills get better, the painting looks better than it would have if you didn't start over. Everything is a plus. You might have spent more time on it, but if you enjoy the process of art making, you realize that it's not a big deal having to start over about five minutes into your second attempt. I will acknowledge that in some cases when there's a deadline, it's better to avoid having to start over. And as I mentioned earlier, you can avoid having to start over by planning if you're really tight on time. But the point of this video is to explain why you shouldn't fear having to. If you don't get anything else from this video, get the fact that you shouldn't fear starting over. See it as a good thing and an opportunity to do something better than before and not as a waste of time. So um, yeah, maybe next time you find yourself in that scenario, maybe instead of tweaking endlessly, just try starting over instead and it'll more than likely be better than your first attempt. But with that being said, thanks for listening. If you did, I'm still figuring out the whole YouTube thing. So if anyone has any suggestions, on content or what the heck I should do with this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.